There's the important bit. It says as follows. It must be conveyed from the sales premises and it cannot be used on the road until it has been put in such a condition that by reason of both its construction and of the state of its lighting, equipment, brakes, steering, suspension and tyres, it is lawful to do so. Correct? That's correct, George. That's what you're referring to, is that right? Yes, George. Well, sir, you had that MOT. Mm -hmm. yes. Did you have any reason to believe there was a problem with the lighting, equipment, brakes, steering, suspension or tyres? None whatsoever. Is there a problem with any of those things? No, no, Judge. Three lines up. It starts with, I also. What does it read, sir? I also understand that this vehicle does not enjoy a current MOT certificate and that... Stop there! It had a current MOT certificate. It, it did, Judge, yes. <laughs> That can't be of any help in terms of this document either, can it? Judge. Understood. Sir, can you read? It says I. It's the last bit of that document. I also understand that this vehicle does not... No, no, oh, sorry. I understand I that understand line. that my statutory rights are not affected. Thank you very much. I understand that my statutory rights are not affected. Did you understand what his statutory rights were with buying a vehicle? Yes. What are his statutory rights? What law governs his relationship with you. Is it the Consumer Rights Act? Is it the Sale of Goods Act? Do you know? Sale of Rights Act, yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Where does it say on here, this is a spares and repairs car? The sales on roadworthy vehicle is basically another term. It's another term? Yeah. Well, I'm not a professional. Yeah. But if I was going to buy something that said spares and repairs, I'd expect it to say, spares and repairs. <laughs> does it say that? It does in George, no. Now, before we proceed, Ian, yes. you've now got a big bill. Is there anything you'd like to add? Um, I, I just think he's, he's... I've come along and he's totally ripped me off, basically. Steve? I disagree. I didn't rip him off. There was, there was no intentions to sell him a vehicle without a prop shaft. But you've already told Lois saying he was a boss. I don't know how many times you told me you was the owner. Why did you tell him a porky? You tell me you've got some species of threatening text messages. Well, it does say something about the wrong family. Is that right? It does, George, yes. When we turn up, that car wasn't advertised as spares and repairs, pal. It was sold with a part missing. You have messed with the wrong family. Oh, goodness me. Were you going to show up with the Corleones? <laughs> this Nottingham's answer to the Godfather. What family? It was, I think I was trying to get him to sort of, like, respond to me with more of a... Um, the... the family, sir, could be construed as the firm. Yeah, I did actually put... I, it was just misleading, that wasn't it? Well, how terrifying are your family? Will they come to my house and rearrange no, the no. furniture? <laughs> <laughs> Ian, you yes. bought a car from Steve, who is a professional seller. As a professional seller, Steve knows that he has specific legal obligations to you because you are a consumer, and so, consequently, you are afforded the protection of the Consumer Rights Act. Part of the bargain you had was that the car you were buying was for spares and repairs. In other words, Steve says as part of his defence, he made it perfectly clear that you would not be entitled to any of your statutory protections because you were buying a wreck. And consequently, Steve provided a document. Steve, you did exactly the right thing in theory by drawing together a legal document saying very clearly you are taking away a car for which I have no responsibility. And the reason I have no responsibility is because it's for spares and repairs. And you provided this document. The difficulty, sir, is this document only covers unroadworthy vehicles. This document does not remove Ian's rights as a consumer. The reason that I know that is because it specifically states I understand that my statutory rights are not affected. What's more, as you'll recall during the course of the case, it's very clear that all of the other references in this document relate to the type of vehicle which shouldn't be on the road in the first place. That could never be the case in respect of this car because, amongst other things, it had an MOT. Consequently, this document is not valid. You are entitled to sell a car for spares and repairs. And you're entitled to tell somebody that they don't have a warranty and it's their problem. But if you do that, you need a better legal document than this, I'm afraid, sir.
because you are still entitled to your statutory obligations, you are consequently entitled to the full cost of the value of the repairs, which in this case is £2,060. Sir, you may run a perfectly valid business despite that porky. You need to get this document updated. The order of this court is £2,060. Ian won his case and was awarded £2,060 by the court. Let's find out how both parties felt about the judge's ruling. I still believe um, he was trying to con me out. I still believe he knew this prop shaft was missing off that car. If you check your website and look at the reviews, yeah. it's not only been me that's been in this position, there's okay. been two or three other people. Okay. If, you, if you look on Google, we've had one bad review this year. Now, 200 cars, that we say 200 cars yeah, are sold this year. Yeah. Yeah. We've had one bad review and we've had this case. That's not bad. I shall do more vetting on garages if ever have to buy another car. It's as simple as that. Hopefully we can both learn something from it. Yeah. I've definitely learned something from it myself. And that... I totally agree, yeah. I, I think we both uh, yeah. need to... It's a learning curve. Yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Don't be stupid. Stay and watch the best judge end of moments. And I'm talking. Understood? Don't be a moron. Subscribe to Judge Rinder YouTube channel. Right now, that's an order.